Now, most business leaders and managers cited entitlement, lack of motivation, effort, productivity from Gen Z workers as reasons why they are difficult to work with. Some of them said the Generation Z is easily offended and have the mindset that they are smarter and more capable over other employees. Some say that the pandemic has an impact on such behavior in the workplace as well. So is it true that the Gen Z are hard to work with? To find out, we are now connected with psychologist Reti Oktania. Good afternoon, Reti. How are you? Hello. Oh. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, we're good. Hi, Reti. Yeah, before we start the conversation, Reti, can you explain and deliberate more what actually Gen Z? Mm. Okay. Let's talk about different generations. Mm -hmm. And um, let's understand the characteristic of Generation Z, Generation Z. The range of their age might vary from one research to another. Mm -hmm. But I have to do that 20. Hello? Yeah, okay, yeah, yes, yeah. we hear you. Could you please repeat again? Because yeah. we kind of okay. lost the connection earlier. Okay, mostly agree that they were born between 1955 to 2010 ish. 1995, right? 1995. Yes. <laughs> so they're now between 28 years old and the youngest is 13 years old. Yeah. Okay. And they are digital native. They were from the very early age. Mm -hmm. They're very familiar with uh, internet, social networks, mobile system. So they are used to. Glo global co connectivity mm. and that become a very useful for them mm -hmm. to gather the information to seek for truth themselves okay. unlike previous generations the model well where um, the leader of previous generations like to giving direction mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and giving guidance is no longer valid in this generation. Now, this generation, they look for empowerment. Mm. We have to trust them. Oh, you have this approach to solve a problem, then you can do it your way. Yeah. And that is very difficult for previous generation because we like to give guidance. Mm -hmm. Because we got guidance, we got direction from other previous generation. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what familiar, that's the pattern that we understand. Mm -hmm. So when we give guidance to them, to the Gen Z, then Gen Z will, I'm sorry, I have my own approach. And it is very difficult to accept. Mm. Yeah. I mean, now mm -hmm. that, that you've mentioned this, it is difficult to accept one another. It's difficult for the Gen Z to accept the older generations yes. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my question is, uh, we, we, just, we just got out of the pandemic era, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. does, uh, does the pandemic and uh, digital era have any impact on those relationships between generations, you think? I think the, the digital it is it, it has impact on this, but the pandemic it it's two years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has it has impact maybe now the they are more connected online, where it is also connected with that digital fact that you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. and they tend to rely on themselves. Well, where I said earlier that to seek for truth, to mm. seek for information, they don't need to ask for an older <clears throat> person mm -hmm. to get answer. Okay, uh, I... you have a follow-up question? No, you go first. Oh, okay. So uh, I I wanted to ask something because you mentioned before that okay they are digital natives right. and um, they have a different thinking patterns. Why do you think does this generation, according to your research, have a different psychological pattern than the generations before? Because I understand, right? When, um, for instance, millennials have had this problem with Generation X because um, uh, because 
we are in the transitional phases. And unfortunately, because Generation X was, you know, uh, raised by parents who were at times of war. So they're, yeah. they're you know, they have, um, they have different priorities at the time in terms of thinking patterns. Survival first, and then this, and everything needs to be structured, right? So how did, do you think it, did this particular behavior come to place as a generation? Because there's usually a historical context. I really want to know this because maybe if this pattern was shed light to us, we can be a little bit more empathetic yes. towards the generations that generation because it could be because of us because we pushed them that way. Right. So is it all really because they're truly digital natives that they think that everything is so easy in this world? I think um, it is also hard for G Gen Z Mm. to survive this era for us seeing gen z that oh they have so many privilege it's easy for them because they have that connectivity and yeah. digital and everything it's so easy and instant right but with that overwhelming mm, source it's also not easy for them mm -hmm. to pick which one they have to trust that's why they have this critical thinking to uh, distinguish which one is the right one, which one is the valid information, and avoiding the hawks, for example, that's one of the skills they master. And it's not easy for them too. So, for example, millennials, our generation, or maybe, uh, yeah, we are the one who may be finishing our school task with computers mm -hmm. the previous generation will look down to us and say oh it's very easy for mm -hmm. you to just backspace when you made mistakes yeah we have to handwrite everything or like typewriter type yeah yeah yes and so every generation will look down to their to the generation after that and seeing that oh this generation is weaker than ours and it is a very normal right well the fact is its generation has its own challenges yeah right and it, sh it we have to see that to see the generation z with more compassion yeah but i think it's talking about um one of the most essential part as a human being is the communication i just want to know how do generational differences in communication styles affect relationship and collaboration in the workplace, for example? And how does this affect mm -hmm. the psychological well-being of the uh, generations um, Z, for example, workers? Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the leadership style. Mm -hmm. Where I say earlier that the Generation X love to coordinate. Mm. Mm -hmm. They they just like spot, oh, this one group, this one group, this one group, and you have to do this, 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 this. But in Generation Y, which um, we are now, we have to get guidance. Mm -hmm. we, we like to give guidance too. Right. This is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. Mm. So it's softer than our previous generation. Mm. So from direction to but guidance. I mentioned, yes, from direction to guidance. And now in Generation Z, they love to be empowered. Mm. So yeah. the leader should be stay outside of the young leader or the new managers or the, the new rising stars and mm -hmm. say that this is the problem that we have. What do you think we can do? This is our resources. Do you have any solution for that? Mm. That's how it, how the, the approach that will work for Gen Z. Mm. And um, the ideal leader, well, for us, the millennial, is a supporter. Mm -hmm. We need to be supported. Yeah. When we are afraid to meet the big boss, we will seek for our supervisors. Will you accompany me to see the approval from the big boss? <clears throat> Well, now in Gen Z, they love to be collaborator. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. You might be my boss, but I and you, me and you are collaborating. 
I like that actually. I like that you idea like that. too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. another characteristic that I love about Gen Z is that they really understand work-life balance. Balance, yeah. They understand boundaries, um, they care about their well-beings. Now, I want to know your opinion. Do you think that it's a good thing? And the second question is, uh, what will happen if Gen Z is forced to work like millennials, like work, 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 work without over rest, time, overtime, yeah. uh, work more than they are expected to? Or they okay. expect to. <laughs> expect, that's yeah. what I think. Yeah. yeah, as I mentioned earlier, Gen Z have their own specific approach to solve a problem that might be different with our, uh, our, our approach. Mm -hmm. And we need to trust them with that. They tend to find the most efficient way mm -hmm. with the help of technology. Yep. Maybe you can see that in our children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're no longer looking information in the books. They just Wikipedia it or just Google it. Mm -hmm. Right? And um, so actually they will finish the task with their own way, the most efficient way they will find. And now that if we push them to have like always on and, and uh, having like over time, we are now in the, maybe you're familiar with this term. We now have the term of quiet quitting. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's when employees continue to put a minimum effort to keep their job. <clears throat> so just mm. to finish the task they they asked to do, but they will not maybe they will not volunteering mm -hmm. to do something else, refusing to work overtime, and there are no longer interest in hustle culture. Mm. Yeah, that was when you have to complete. Genetic. Yeah, yeah, they they are no longer interest in hustle culture, uh, where they have to complete many things at the same time. Well, which that was glamorized mm, by our yeah. generation and older generation before. So, Reti, I really want to ask this since you mentioned um, they're more prone to burnout if they're forced to work in mm -hmm. our style, right? One of the mm -hmm. biggest critiques that you uh, that um, that we hear a lot is their lack of resilience. Uh, would mm -hmm. you still define uh, that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because. Predominantly, society is still run by millennials and Generation X right now, with last bits of Generation mm -hmm. X, but millennials are now in leadership, right? Which means um, this lack of resilience is not something that we're millennia, uh, we millennials are familiar with. That's why we view it, as you said, they're the weaker generation now. Now, as a parent, though, I would like to know, how can I develop this mental resilience? Because you cannot always get your way. That is life. And Gen Z has this thing where they will prioritize making sure they will get what they want first before anything else without the waiting and everything is instant. Now, information you can get instant, but there are certain things in life that just cannot come instantly, right? So as parents, how do we teach this mental resilience to our children? Okay. Maybe we can see that we see the younger generation as the weaker generation because they are more open to disclose their mental health problem. Mm -hmm. If we see it this way, then we can see that they are the generation that is connected to their emotion better than the previous generations. Mm -hmm. Who say that our generation and our previous generation is not stressed? They are also stressed, but we repress it and we don't talk about it. It's taboo to say that, oh, I'm stressed at work. Oh, you have to be grateful. You have to, you have work. You have a job. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can put food on your table. That's what we, we know. Yeah. But no, Gen Z, no, I have, I'm stressed. Uh, yes, I do have food on the table. But I'm stressed. That's that's what they say. So in terms of how they disclose their mental health problem, may not be having direct relationship of how resilient they are. They disclose their mental health problem 
and they still have mastery to finish the task. Now the problem is, how can we develop this mastery to finish the task? Mm. Mm. Not only focus on the emotional disclose, mm. but the first step that they have to disclose their emotional state is the first stage of resilience. They connect with what, what they're feeling because the previous generation, they repress the emotion. Yes, we get things done, but maybe we develop anxiety. True. If we don't complete things on time, if we don't achieve the certain level of achievement, we don't feel worthy. Mm. Yeah. While that's not happening in this generation, I can achieve one level out of them, I still wealthy. So what is was what, well, what, I, yeah. what is Generation Z's definition of fulfillment? It's the, it's very individual to individual. Uh. Uh. But it's Most healing first, right? Seeking for, boundaries yeah, it's, and it's, healing it's, first. Themselves yeah, boundaries, first. Psycho, yeah, <clears throat> psychological well-being. Maybe they are now like, okay, I want to be a musician. I don't I don't want to like take in college. As long as mm. I'm happy, I can earn money and I can like self-sufficient with that. That's enough. I'm okay. Yeah. That's enough. Wow. And they are now in the in the stage like where it's okay to just being enough. Right. Um, but I am healthy mentally, physically. Rather than I have like lots of resources and very strong financially, but I don't have time for me, for my family. Mm. I like that. Actually. Love it. Well, um, I love the privilege though that comes with having uh, resources and for family. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish Different. I wish we had more time because I still yes. have a yeah. lot of questions to ask you, but unfortunately, uh, we don't because of the duration. Oh no! Uh, thank you so much, Rati, for sharing your insights. This is such an interesting discussion. Thank mm. you for being with us today. Thank, thank you, Rati. Rati. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Rati. Wow. Bye -bye. I think. I think when we want to delve into deeper into cross-generational communication, cross-generational things, we're, we're going to keep on pointing fingers. Exactly. <laughs> we're going to need more than an hour to actually yeah. cover yes. like the surface. Bottom line is we have to always see the good in people and just yeah. try to understand. Compassionate. 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 That's yeah. the word. It's not easy. All right, we're going to have to take a little break and we'll be back uh, still, of course, discussing about Generation Z and their achievements. Stay with us.